Welcome back compadres. Today we're talking reservoir engineering. I'm going to show you a method to forecast hydraulically fractured wells to get us estimated ultimate recovery and reserves. So this method honors the linear flow regime often seen in hydraulically fractured wells and unlike the other methods like radio flow, boundary dominated flow, they don't honor that flow regime. So this method is going to give you more accurate estimate of reserves. And so if you've kept up with the oil patch the past 10 to 15 years, all we do is hydraulically fracture wells. So it's advantageous to you to be able to learn how to forecast using this method. The other advantage is you can extend this correlation to get meaningful reservoir characterization parameters, which we'll do in the next video. So guys, I hope you're amped up. It's gonna be a long video, but if you follow what I show you here, it's gonna help you out. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to determine the remaining reserves and estimate ultimate recovery using the reciprocal rate linear flow plot. So a reciprocal rate linear flow plot is used as a basis to determine the estimate ultimate recovery of hydraulically fractured wells. This can include vertical wells and also hydraulically fractured horizontal wells. The only emphasis is, is that we're assuming that the wells fractured and it's exhibiting linear flow and so this is a plot of reciprocal rate versus cumulative production this line right here is similar identical to our radio flow plot in that it is the line that fits the early time data which is going to simulate linear flow and so you can see here we have to be careful when we fit these this data because when we hydraulically fracture wells often we have cleanup right here so when we inject fluids and prop it and we begin, begin to produce the well well that it's going to come back up and so that data is kind of skewed so um, what we're after is fitting a straight line and then after that we're going to use ARPS boundary dominated equations to fit the remaining data points and so the key concepts of this approach is that we are using assuming infinite acting linear flow and we'll get into more detail on that we also are assuming constant bottom hole pressure production so this line right here if we assume constant bottom hole pressure production we can perform reservoir characterization and get things like permeability fracture half length the stimulated reservoir volume or drainage area original gas in place and recovery factor so the theory behind these equations is that it's similar to what we looked at with the radio flow reciprocal rate radio flow plot in that if you plot it you have two flow regimes you're assuming an infinite acting flow regime in this case infinite acting linear flow followed by boundary dominated flow so if we take a closer look at kind of the visual of what we're talking about assume that we're looking from the top down at a horizontal lateral right here horizontal well and you have fractures that you um, that are spaced evenly apart well these fractures when they first start to produce fluids that fluids gonna flow perpendicular to the fracture or at least we're assuming so to simplify the analysis and then so this this basically shows that our fracture half length is defined by the length of this fracture it's actually half the fracture and then our distance of investigation is going to be this term right here and once again the distance of investigation is going to be like uh, right in the middle where these wells where these fractures come into contact with each other and so if you've ever done like shear flow in solid mechanics um, you can for mechanical engineers out there you can be able to relate to this but this is what we're using as our assumption right here infinite acting linear flow with fractures horizontal fracture or vertical fractures excuse me and then after we produce for a while well then these the the flow here there you're gonna start to see fracture interference so as the drainage area extends outward we're going to get to a point where these fractures interfere and then we enter the boundary dominated flow regime now if you read any text or any journals there's several flow regimes that they consider in fractured wells we're just looking at linear flow and boundary dominated 
So the basis behind this approach can be found in literature, but it's really simple. It's basically using ARPS equations. Okay, so for the infinite acting region, we're assuming that this straight line right here has a B equal to 2. So if you put in, if you pull your ARPS equations like this equation right here and, and some others, you can actually derive this by substituting B equals to 2 into here and solving for reciprocal rate. And so you can see here you have constants here. You have a the initial decline over the initial rate squared, and then you have 1 over the initial rate. So this is your intercept, and this is your slope. And so you can see this is a constant, this is a constant. Your cumulative production is going to change as you produce. And so here's your x, and then your 1 over rate is going to be your y. So this is why this is a straight line, this red line. And so if you do the mathematics, and I can, I can definitely share the derivation online if you guys want me to, but you can simplify the mathematics to get our initial rate at the initial production period right here equal to the slope, m is our slope, over our 1 over initial rate squared. And in addition, you're also going to need this equation right here, which is the time to the end of linear flow, which is simulated by this triangle or shown here by this triangle and so you can derive this too this is important for forecasting and so you're gonna need this equation also and then after this time to end of linear flow right here you're going to fit this remaining data with ARPS cumulative production equation right here and so you're gonna need a couple equations to do that um, so uh, we'll go into more detail on that in the Excel analysis, but you can see here um, this data right here. We have an infinite acting flow regime. In this case, it's linear flow up to this point, and then you have assumed boundary dominated the rest of the way. And so these are the steps that I'm going to go through right here. Ignore this to the right, but it, these steps right here. Pause the video, and you're going to find that uh, if you read through this and you go through the Excel analysis with me, um, this is kind of a summary of what I'm doing. So pause the video if you're interested. And these are the references I'm talking about. So in school, you're not going to find this stuff unless you went to the University of Oklahoma, the shell research capital of the world, essentially. And so you can find these are the references that I'm using. And actually, a couple of them are from uh, Oklahoma uh, the University of Oklahoma. So this is um, kind of new stuff and uh, so um, it's important because the past 10 to 15 years we have been exclusively hydraulically fracturing wells. We rarely see radio flow or we rarely see vertical wells anymore at least in the United States. So it's important to understand this and kind of get a leading edge on your competition. So we're going to step into the Excel analysis.